Hey guys, today a quick video tip on how to do a concrete control joint using a tool like this and an extra tip to make sure that that concrete control joint does what it's supposed to do and that's crack where you want the concrete to crack. So stick around. So this one is pretty simple. You actually want to put a control joint in a location where you want the concrete to crack if it's going to crack. The problem is when you use a tool like this, it may just not score the concrete deep enough to ensure that the crack actually does happen there. So basically my tip is, is this to shallow the concrete on the bottom side of the concrete pad. I have some old pieces of hardy plank trim and so I'm just going to cut those to fit in there and let those stick into the poured concrete just a, a couple of inches or so. And the thought behind this is, is that shallows the concrete there and then above that we will have this control joint so in theory the concrete should crack relatively easy there so i think it's a pretty decent idea if you think this isn't a great idea you concrete pros let me know your thoughts in the comments below so in this case i'm going to have three control joints so i put a board there a board here and a board there and then after i pour the concrete i will come back and simply do the groove joint right over it and then we'll have a relatively short distance between the finished top of the concrete and this so the concrete should snap right there. Now that the concrete has been poured it sat for a little bit and I did sort of the first layer of troweling. I'm going to go ahead and use my groove tool just as you would with any other pour. So the only difference in this pour is we have the fiber cement board underneath that is just basically making this area right here a little bit shallower. Once we put this groove in there, in theory that should make a weak point. So if the concrete does break or when it's going to break, it's going to break right along that crack so we really won't even be able to see it so that's the idea what I did in this case to make it easier I put a screw down here to mark where this end of the groove needs to go and then I have a mark on my wall over there I'm simply going to use my screed board as kind of a straight edge I'll put some weight on it here So I think it's going to work fine and I think it's a good tip to make sure that our control joints do what they're supposed to do and that's crack where we want the concrete to crack when the concrete's going to crack. So thanks for watching. I'm Joe Kistel. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up.